Hi. So the railroad was made at the start of Van Damme's direct DVD career, 2002. And I think it was the first movie of his that, that was shot in Bulgaria. I remember I was very sad for Van Damme when I bought a DVD back in 2003 or 2. And the quality of film was much lower than usual. No! I grew up on Van Damme's movies and I was a huge fan, but I remember that was a time when I was very, like, kind of disappointed this was not the Van Damme that I, I watched when I was a kid. Recently I rewatched the movie again and I was quite surprised. I actually like it more now than I did it 20 years ago. I guess it's the nostalgia. To this day I can believe that the budget for this film was 11 million dollars. Maybe Van Damme's salary was very high. The movie looks much cheaper. The train set is very visible in many scenes. <laughs> it's a kind of like funny, it's this miniature train. And the movie has very weird editing. I guess the editor wanted to try something new. The whole split screen technique is not necessary in my opinion. Basically it's like Steven Seagal Under Siege 2. Except that movie was much better than this one and had a higher budget. And the reel was directed by Bob Misirovsky. I've seen some of his movies. He's a, you know, he makes low budget films. That's his thing. It's nice to see Nathan Kelly in this movie, who you may know from Sons of Anarchy TV series. And Larry Harris is great as Van Damme's sidekick. They're a great, you know, team. Thomas, Ar Thomas Aran is an okay villain, but when you compare it to other Van Damme's villains, not very memorable. I like Stefano Milzakis in this. He has been in some Van Damme's movies, always in a henchman role. He's like Sven Ole Thorson with Arnold. He appears in many Van Damme's movies. As a Van Damme fan, The Rail is a okay film. It's definitely his, one of his weakest films, but if you're a fan, you will probably watch it and have no problem with it. If you're not a hardcore fan, then uh, this movie will not offer you anything. But still much, this, this film is still much better than some of his other Van Damme's later movies like Kill Em All, Blackwater, Pound of Flesh, Kickboxer sequels. So if you want to see Die Hard on Train, you better watch Under Siege 2 with Seagal. This only for Van Damme fans. Well, so what do you think about Derailed? Do you like the movie or not? Let me know in the comment section below. You can like, you can like this video if you want and I will talk to you next time. Take care and bye.